In this video, we have an ellipse with equation 2x squared plus y squared over 9 equals 1. And three transformations have been applied to it. The first is that it's been enlarged by scale factor 3. So let's label them, shall we? So that'll be number 1. Then it's been rotated by 3 pi over 2 radians anti-clockwise about the origin. So that's number 2. And then it's been translated by the vector minus 2, 1. So that's number 3. Find the equation of the transformed curve in the form ax squared plus bx plus cy squared plus dy plus e equals 0, where a, b, c, d and e are integers. OK, so let's perform these in turn. So the first one is it's enlarged by scale factor 3. So that means it's stretched parallel to the x-axis by scale factor 3, by factor 3. And it's also stretched parallel to the y-axis, factor 3. So we need to replace the x with 1 third x. So we'll have two lots of 1 third x all squared, and we're going to replace the y with one third y as well. So one third y squared all over nine equals one. So make sure that you're putting these in brackets to make sure that you're squaring the thirds as well. So the first thing I'd probably do is multiply through by the nine. So we would get 18 lots of one third x all squared plus one third y squared equals 9. Uh, then uh, we've got the one third squared, which is 1 ninth. 18 times 1 ninth is 2. So we'll have 2x squared plus 1 ninth y squared is equal to 9. And then I could multiply through by the 9 now. Probably that's a good idea. So I'll multiply through by 9. So we'd get 18x squared plus y squared is equal to 81. OK. So that's just to kind of get uh, integer coefficients. So uh, transformation number 2. It's rotated by 3 pi, two, 3 pi over 2 radians anti-clockwise about the origin. So let's draw a little diagram so we can visualise what's going on there. So my point there, x, is being rotated 3 pi over 2 radians. So that would be pi, sorry, pi over 2, then pi, 3 pi over 2. OK, would we'll get me down here, which is minus y. And y uh, will be rotated round here to x, OK? So x will go to minus y, y will go to x. So I need to replace the x, remember the scaling, you know, on my diagram, it doesn't matter. The idea is that it's just going round so I can show how x is going around to minus y and y is going around to x. Okay? It's just a little diagram to help me out. So x's are replaced with minus y. So 18 lots of minus y squared. And the y is replaced with x. So plus x squared equals 81. So that's just going to give us 18 y squared plus x squared equals 81. Right. Transformation number 3 is a translation by the vector minus 2, 1. So the x is going to be replaced with x plus 2, and the y is going to be replaced with y minus 1. So 18 lots of y minus 1 squared plus x plus 2 all squared equals 81. So now I want to expand this out. So we're going to have 18 y squared We'd get minus 2y in there, so minus 36y, and then a plus 1 times 18, so plus 18, plus x squared, plus 4x, plus 4, equals 81. So now let's get it into the format we want. So we want the x squared first, then the 4x, then we've got the 18y squared, then the minus 36y, then we've got the 18 uh, plus the 4, take away 81, is minus 59. And that's equal to 0. 
And that is now in the format that I wanted.